Why, hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV on Playframe, story mode and such. Um, our forward momentum on this campaign has taken a little bit of a small hit from a big cannon. Estinian took care of it and all, but I feel like we've got a lot of pieces to sort out. I'd recommend we fall back a bit, everyone. Team. I promise. Right, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Slowly but surely, Alphano is regaining his composure. Forgive me, now's not the time for vows of vengeance. We must remain calm and rational and in control. The Imperials have demonstrated a willingness to fire on their own. So long as we remain here, we're in danger. We three will see to Commander Kemp's body. Find my sister and return to Alagiri. You got it. Yeah, I better find her and let her know you're okay. She's been worried all weekend. Alice, where are you? Where are you? Alice, this is a really steep ramp. There, that should suffice for now. Go on and join the others. Tell me you found Alphano. Tell me he's all right. He's, well, he's not great, but he's safe. Oh, thank the Twelve. I don't know what I would have done. Although, saying that, what will the Resistance do without Commander Kemp? Sorry, not here, not now. We should return to Alagiri. Keep an eye out for any wounded who need help on our way. On it. Hey, any wounded, now would be a really great time to speak up. Just give me a shout. Anyone? Gotta be somebody over here. Wait. Yes. On your feet, soldier. <sighs> oh. It wasn't long ago I was trying to kill you and yours. I half expected you were about to slit my throat. And to hell's with this, I should be back home in Ilsebard instead of taking fire from my so-called comrades. Well, glad you're okay. Hang in there. Um, y'all are gonna watch after him, right? What should we do? We've got plenty of our own wounded to deal with. Say the word and I'll finish him quick. No, not whatever the opposite of the word is. That. I'll go looking for the others. Keeping an eye out for wounded, spotted one. You gonna make it over there? You need a ride? You can borrow my bird. It's pretty small, but very strong. Thanks, friend. Bloody tourniquet came loose and I was having trouble getting it back on. I uh, should be fine the rest of the way. All right, well, good for you. Careful. You also? Anything I can do? I'm offering bird rides. Oh, well, bless you, kind- Wait, is that you, Dermot? I didn't recognize you at first. Been feeling a bit dizzy. Must have lost a lot of blood. I- I can keep going. I, I can keep going. Are you sure, though? Just- Okay, I'm not super confident, but you're- You're not that far away from home. Just keep your eye on the big crystals. All right, Alphano, I am back. Good to see you are all safe back here, too. It's up to all of us to carry on in his stead. It's up to me. Not you by yourself, though. I did what I could for those I found along the way, but some were beyond help. I knew we'd lose people doing this, but him? I was sure the old bear would outlast us all. Dermon. We've given over Commander Kemp's remains for safekeeping. Later, I have no idea when, rites must needs be performed. For now, however, we must carry on. We must press forward. We must not give in to despair. You're very right. We've come a long way. And I don't think he would want us to lose momentum from his loss. 
The question of how to move forward in Conrad's absence looms large in Alphano's mind. All Alliance and Resistance units have now withdrawn from Specula Imperatoris. It's time we spoke with General Aldin. That's a good idea. He's smart. He'll know what to do. General! We could use experienced, level-headed strategy. I think you're the oldest one here now. These deaths weigh heavy on my soul. Commander Kemp's most of all. He was a wise leader. He was a patriot. But above all else, he was a good man who will be sorely missed. One of many lost this day. I ask for a moment's silence to pray for the souls of the departed. We've suffered a grievous defeat, but we cannot and will not renounce this cause. The die has been cast. Hold tight to this grief, this anger, and let it drive you forward. Let it be your strength and your shield when next you face the enemy. It will carry us far, General. Of that I have no doubt. Ere we take another step towards Alamigo, however, we must first address the question of how to deal with Castramabania's cannon. If the Imperials are willing to employ the weapon without thought for their own soldiers' safety, we may struggle to approach them. A frontal assault is out of the question. We'd lose countless men before we even reached the walls. Would we? Recall that the Imperials could have obliterated our forces had they kept firing, but neglected to do so. They had no strategic reason to cease fire, which begs the question, why did they? You suspect they were unable to fire the cannon again, mayhap due to a malfunction. Or one of their officers found his conscience after the first barrage, or a heretofore unknown resistance faction chose that moment to disable it. There are many possibilities, but the fact remains that they stopped when logic dictated they continue. Then I'll just have to go and see for myself if the cannon's still operational. Are you mad? Conrad put you in charge of the Resistance. We can't risk losing another commander so soon. I know how you feel, Nago. I do. But I need you to understand. It wasn't long after Papalimo and I arrived at Rogger's Reach that Conrad first asked me to join the Resistance. And then he kept on asking. Every time I said no, I told myself it was because of the Scions. But even then, I knew deep down that it was an excuse that I was still afraid of following my heart because I couldn't be sure if it was for me or for Ida. But then I met someone on the other side of the world who had struggled with the same worries, and as we traveled and fought together, I saw him grow and become the leader his people needed him to be. And now it's my turn to do the same. There's not a lot of us left, and of the ones that are, many are still wounded. We have to make do with what we've got, and I'm the best qualified. It's as simple as that. But don't worry, Nago. I'll come back. I promise. While I acknowledge Commander Hecht's right to carry out this mission, I see no reason why she should do so alone. Lieutenants, would you go with her? Would have done it even if you hadn't asked, sir. <laughs> Suppose someone's got to keep her out of harm's way. Someone does need to, and Nago does still kind of have a point about risking the commander. Yeah, I was definitely going either way. Like, good luck stopping me, General. Then it's settled. We will await your return. All right. Y'all are going to be good back here? I understand Monago's concern. If they were to lose another leader so soon after losing Conrad, the Resistance might never recover. When did Lise become leader of the Resistance? That... that is... Hmm. I suppose we have Hian to thank for this, too. <laughs> I guess you missed that part. Conrad confided in me that he was considering naming her his, as his successor, so it didn't come as a complete shock. I mean, I was still surprised, but I've never once doubted his judgment. None of us have. If he thought Lise was the best choice, then she is. You ready to go prove it, bud? Sorry to drag you into this, Dermon. 
It may not be the decision Conrad would have made, but I'm not Conrad, and never will be. I don't know what kind of leader he was hoping for, but right now, all I can do is be myself. You know? It makes sense. I'm with you. Lead the way. Lisa's mind is made up. If you don't mind, I'd rather not wait around and have people try to talk me out of it. Let's get moving. I know a good vantage point overlooking the castrum. Uh, Nyonkrep's Hope. The ship stranded on the rocks to the east of here. Shouldn't take us long to get there. Oh, but there might be some ancient golems guarding it. Or that might just be an old wives' tale. Either way, it's worth the risk. Lise, Commander, I pray you proceed with all due caution. Do not hesitate to call upon us if needed. To reach the ship, we'll have to scale the cliff face. I'll get some climbing gear and meet you there, alright? Alrighty. Climbing. That'll be a new fun challenge. Please, you out here? Is this our climb spot? Seems like it. Oh, yep, there's the there's the ship thing. Hey, are we, we going to explain what this is now? It's very conspicuous as a... a oh, the golems, right. Hello. I'm real busy right now, Guardian Beast. You okay. There we go. All right. Now can I climb? Or at least wait for Lise. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you've met the golems. Looks like the old stories were true, huh? In a way, I'm glad. Right then, time to climb. That took a bit more out of me than I expected. And here she is, Neumkrep's Hope. The Ark that one man made to save countless others from the Flood during the Sixth Umbral Era. It's comforting to think that there have always been people who cared this much about their fellow man, who accomplished such great feats that people couldn't help thinking they must be made up. But the proof's right here, isn't it? I don't just mean the ship, you know. I mean you. Long before anyone started calling you a hero, you were there for those in need. You did things for people when you didn't have to. Sometimes even when they didn't want you to. It can't have been easy, staying true to yourself. But we're all the better for it, me included. I'll never be a leader like Conrad. Or Hien. Or my father. But I can be a friend to you all, and I can fight by your side. I can be me, and that'll just have to be enough, eh? I think it will. Strange to think back on it. If we'd been standing in different places, or if the shell had struck the tower differently, it would have been me instead of Conrad. Or maybe both of us. What kind of monster murders their own? Uh, is that smoke from Castromabania? Wait, it's coming from the cannon! I can't tell what happened from here, but I can tell that it won't be giving us any trouble in the immediate future. This is our chance, Derman, to avenge Conrad and all the others who died in the tower, friend or foe. To take Castromabania and bring the bastards who gave the order to fire to justice. It won't be easy after the losses we took, but I know everyone's champing at the bit to strike back. With the right plan, I'm certain we can do it. 
We have to tell the others. Come on. So that was a neat little bit of world lore there with the uh, ship thing. Mentioning the uh, sort of sixth calamity leading to that Umbral era and the big flood and all that. It, I believe, ties into, if I'm getting my order of calamities right, uh, you remember the raid we did after Heaven's Word? The Void Ark, that thing up in the sky, kind of like that big mage war that led to that. Uh, there were a lot of factions involved, and I don't remember all the details, but I believe the flood that was just referenced that this ship was meant to help protect land-based people from uh, was caused by that mage war. So just another piece of kind of the puzzle there. I like that you sort of get little snippets and tidbits of the history of different calamities, uh, especially the most recent one, which makes the most sense that we'd still have the most remnants of the most recent calamity left in the world somewhere, that they're just bits and pieces of that history. And I imagine if we did more uh, just side quests in this area, there'd be a lot more light shed on uh, the history around this thing, which is real cool. Someone in comments can share way more detailed lore bits around that, I'm sure, and probably already has. Folks have been po posting like a lot of great spoiler-free world-building lore information in the comments of every single episode on this, and I really love it. What a great thing. Anyway, easier down than up, huh? Though not necessarily safer. Anyway, no time to rest. We need to convince the others to strike now before the Imperials have time to fix their cannon. That we do. Do I want any of... I don't really think I... Nah, I'm, I'm probably good. You know what? I'll take that. Why not? Lise is not willing to let this opportunity pass you by. There's no time to lose, Dermon. General Alden needs to know what we saw. After you. General, we have exceptional news. About an exceptional opportunity. Any more thoughts from you? Well, did you learn anything of value? Boy, you bet we did. You look like you've got something important to say. I do, and I'm just stalling to hear what y'all say. I'm relieved the two of you made it back in one piece. I mean, I always am, but it's a little different now, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. You returned. I only hope you bring good news. We scaled the cliffs of Nuncrep's Hope and spied smoke rising from Castromabania's main cannon. I think Marshal Tarrapin's right. They didn't fire again because they couldn't. The cannon seems to have been disabled somehow. Yeah, by one spiky, grumpy Dragoon doing one big jump. Who knew it was that easy? I'd have switched back to Dragoon if I knew it was that simple. Then we must attack Castromabania at once. Hmm. It could still be a trick, but if it isn't, we may not get a better opportunity. Bluntly, General, if it is a trick, it is an utterly baffling stratagem. Had the Imperials wished to wipe us out, they could simply have kept firing. Be that as it may, we need not risk everything to seize it. I say we dispatch a small contingent to infiltrate the castrum and secure control of the weapon. If the enemy is preoccupied with, repa uh, with repairs, we may be able to take them unawares. If, on the other hand, it is indeed a trick, our token force will prove an elusive target, and will at least know the cannon's operational. Either way, it seems well worth the risk. But how are we to infiltrate the castrum? In anticipation of a day such as this, men and women under my command have labored long to cultivate a network of informants throughout Girabania, including Radiata. Radiata is home to many who hold menial positions at Castromabania and other nearby installations. With the aid of our allies there, I believe we can secure a route into the fortress. The Resistance will handle this. You may have recruited these informants, but they'll be just as happy working with fellow Alamegans. And at the end of the day, it's our land. Our responsibility. Let's do right by Conrad. I should be glad to accompany her, General. As would Alice and Dermot, I'm sure. Yep, yep. Well then, if you're all in agreement, I see no reason to refuse you. We'll make ready to march on Castor Mabania. Go, and may Ralga watch over and keep you. Good having a plan again. 
Thanks for standing by me, Dermon. Together, we'll make Conrad proud. I expect we already are, but yes. Huh. I knew the Alliance had spies in Garibania, but in Radiata? Impressive. I suspect a hand-picked contingent of, Alamegan's br of the Alamegan Brigade's finest would have been equally, if not more, qualified, but what do I know? <laughs> my apologies for speaking on your behalf. It would seem my sister's forthright manner is rubbing off on me. I confess my decision to volunteer was not wholly motivated by concern for Lise, nor less Alamigo. Castromavani is the largest imperial facility in the Peaks, you see, and so the likelihood that Kryle's being held captive there is quite high. Dealing with that cannon remains our main objective, of course, but if there's even a chance that Kryle might be rescued in the process, I'd never forgive myself if I did not take it. That makes sense, and I can't blame you. I, too, am worried about the other small. It would not do for the Scions to lose one of our tiniest. Alphano is ready to lead the way to Radiata. So, to review, we are to travel to Radiata, where we'll meet with a contact recruited by Marshal Terrapin's agents. I took the liberty of reviewing intelligence reports while Derman and Lise were away, so the settlement is not wholly unfamiliar to me. As the Vice Marshal indicated, the vast majority of the populace is employed as menial labor in either Specula Imperatoris or Castra Mabania. Perhaps as a result of this, the Resistance has long struggled to make inroads there. Ah, you have the right of it. They got a better deal than most Alamegans, feeding off what scraps the Imperials gave them. Damned if I know how Marshal Terrapin's agents got one of them to turn his coat. I understand your disdain, I do. But I also understand their desire to look after their families by any means necessary. Our contact is a Rugadine woman. She will ask us a question. After we answer with courage, she will know us as friends. Courage, right. Put together a squadron, Nago. We'll need them soon. With me, my friends. And be ready for anything. You bet I will. All right. Let's make our way towards Specula Imperatoris and, apparently, stay alert for Imperial soldiers. Come on, Quay friend. Hey! You three. Hadn't spotted you over here. How are you doing? We'll be fighting with the main host when the time comes to attack Castra Mabania. I swear by everything that's holy, we won't lose. Darn right we won't. Many of the J tribe call this place home. I shudder to think what would become of them if we fail. There you go again, getting all worked up. Though it could be worse, so long as you don't start saying bollocks like, I'll never forgive them. Makes for a terrible battle cry, you know? It's a good point. All right. To Radiata. There y'all are. I know you're out there. Keep an eye out, would you? Something doesn't feel right. Yeah, something sparkly and kind of behind you. If there were Magitek armor nearby, surely we would have heard them by now. Well, just to be safe, let's survey. See? What did I tell you? Let us continue on to Specula Imperatoris. I'm still keeping an ear out. Huh. Guess we still have some control over the place? Do you wish to enter Specula Imperatoris? Yes, please. I guess it wouldn't make sense. Well, in a way, it wouldn't make sense to leave the place completely abandoned just so the Imperials could take it back. But then again, it also wouldn't make a whole lot of sense staying in the place until we're 100% certain that cannon's not firing again. I guess we'll have to see to that second thing. Uh-huh. 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 Savages indeed. One side. Your little one-man airship thing here is kind of cute, but broken. 
Alpha no. Y'all holding up over here? Phew. That would have been an unceremonious ending to our tale. Huh. Nothing to it. Of course there were still soldiers lurking about. Fortunately, they were no match for Lise. Come, Radiata is not much further. Of course, in light of our recent encounter, it would be prudent to proceed with caution and remain vigilant for Imperial forces. I'll keep an eye out. Though I guess a little extra caution. In light of recent events. Is not a terrible strategy. Imperials. Now would be a very good time for an ambush if you wanted to go ahead and just sort of get it out of the way. Okay. Bigger than I expected, but that's fine. Go. Um, no. No, thank you. Much larger than I expected in general. Get out of here. For once, I feel a little bit better about it just being night and fog out here. Feels like it'll help better cover our infiltration. Hey, teammates. I thought they said this was a village. Looks more like a work camp. Huh. Nary a soldier in sight. Mayhap they were recalled to Castromabania. Looks like it's safe to enter. I don't see any Imperials. Hmm. I don't see smoke above Castromabania anymore. Do you think they fixed the cannon already? I really hope not. That would be super inconvenient. The Rugadine woman you seek is somewhere in Radiata, and Lise is eager to find her. Alphano said we were looking for a Rugadine woman, right? And that we should answer her question with courage? I suppose we'll just have to strike up a conversation with every one of them till we find our contact. Let me know if you find her, and I'll do the same. Yes, let's go make introductions and friends. Let's see. Rugadine woman, Rugadine woman. Nope. Rugadine. Hmm. She has to be around here somewhere. Looking, looking. Um. Please, any luck? Any luck? No? Me neither. Um, well, might as well ask. So, as I was saying, about this woman... Are you interrupting? They're broken war marking all over the place, if you know where to look. Someone should probably salvage them. Um... You are... No, oh, you're Rugadine. Okay. Um... I don't know you. Why have you come to Radiata? Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell you about myself? You really are a stranger here, aren't you? Too much talk can get a person killed. My father talked too much once. Complained about his job. A friend reported him to the authorities, and then the soldiers came to take him away as a suspected insurgent. I never saw him again. And then there was my little brother. When a group of patriots heard he was a laborer for the Empire, they strung him up from a tree. So, no, you don't talk about yourself around here. That makes sense. Um, I feel like I better understand what kind of place this is, too, but... As a formality. Radiata. Well, this village is home to those who labor at Castramabania or Specula Imperatoris. Think of it as an imperial slave pen. It certainly wasn't called Radiata by the folk who lived here. It had a different name once, but you'll not hear anyone say it out loud. That earns you a visit from the correction officers. You tell other villagers you're from Radiata, though, and it'll get you spit on. To everyone else, we're the Empire's whipped curs. We lose either way. If we're to be treated like dogs for where we were born, then we've no choice but to live like one. Rough life. Thanks for the information, though. Um... Let's see... 
Ah, uh, this one can't fail. I can feel my purse growing heavier already. I think I might have found... our person. Hello. I ain't seen you around here before. It takes a certain kind of man to walk into a place like this uninvited. Wild Rose is not our passcode, and neither is tough. One with courage, I suppose. Courage, you say? Well, that's in short supply these days. Better to keep your head down and go along to survive. Call me a coward too, if you like, because I'll not speak on it more. At least not here. Outside Radiata, behind those barricades over yonder, on the other hand. Meet you over there. Hey, was that who I think it was? I think so. Well, that's a relief. Or a trap. Either way, I'll find Alphano and Alice. We'll meet you there. I just love how they've kind of dutifully covered all the just different kinds and forms of oppression and the shapes that it takes in an occupied land. Like, it feels like a thorough and even just outright responsible uh, portrayal of empire. There's lots of fictional fantasy and sci-fi stories that portray that have an empire, but very few that actually try to reckon with what that realistically means and looks like. And especially just in recent days, I have a lot more respect for fictional stories that do put in that work to actually show it. Not followed, were you? Good. That all of you, is it? Let's get to it, then. Name yourselves. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, the friends of Marshal Terrapin. Name's Stark, Stark Wote. The rest you know, or you wouldn't be here. This is about Specula Imperatoris and the canon, isn't it? Just so. Can you tell us what happened? Aye. I overheard soldiers talking about it working in the mess. The Cerulean pipeline fueling the cannon was destroyed by an unidentified male insurgent, they said. One man single-handedly disabled the cannon. That beggar's belief. Nevertheless, that's what they said. It took a while, but they finally put the fires out, and the engineers have been working day and night to repair it. Wish I could tell you more, but the incident had everyone jumping at shadows and afraid to say much more. To make matters worse, the Alamegan help have been sent home indefinitely. So the cannon could already be fully operational. We need to sneak inside Castro Mabania to ensure the cannon's no longer a threat to our troops. Can you help us? Aye, that much I can do. I've pieced together a map of the interior over the years, and I know for a fact that there are multiple points of entry. Impressive. If we split into several groups, that may improve our odds of reaching the fire control center. We may be few in number, but I have faith we can see this through. A plan takes shape, then. Phenomenal. Do I want any of these? I don't know, let's see how they look. A shield that looks pretty good with a Garibanian symbol, that's kind of nice. Might just have to get it just for that. Uh, also, a ninja weapon, pretty cool looking. A lancer's weapon for dragoons. Not bad. Or for monks, punchies. Also pretty good. Tough call, but I do love having that shield with the insignia. Just for the collection. Ah, very good. Well, it looks like plans for an operation are starting to take shape. But we're going to have to save that operation for tomorrow, I think. Take care, all of you. And I will see you tomorrow for probably some good times in Castro Mabania. Take care until then, all of you. And th thumbs up, I guess. But also, goodbye.